is Irina Blount from La La Land Crafts. Today is March 15th and if you are one of our club subscribers or if you follow us, you know that we reveal the club of the month on the 15th of each month. So today we're going to do the reveal of March 2021 kit. I can't believe we actually I really can't believe we are in March already. The two and a half months of the year are gone by. It seems like I just did the reveal for the February kit and here we are in March already. Hello everybody. Hi Taya. Hi Alexandra, Stephanie, Susie, Carol, Jackie, Tracy. Hi everyone. So I'm not gonna do a lot of suspense today. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what we have for you this month. And I know, I know I say it all the time and I know a lot of you say it all the time that this kit is my favorite kit every month. Every month is the kit of the month is my favorite kit. I am so happy about how this kit turned out. Um, Marcy is the sweetest. The my little mice friends are so cute. And of course we have the dice. So let me show you, let's take a, a closer look. Um, just quick reminder that your club comes like this, well in the shiny envelope every month. And then you'll have the stamps and dice. If you're subscribing to the product kit, you'll have stamps only or dice only if you're subscribing to stamps only or dice only kits. And your kit will come with the infographics card like this that will show you what's included, will tell you the names of all of the products, will tell you the value, retail value if you would to purchase this product separately. And it will have the link. Mine is blocked right here, but where it says, look for your exclusive project tutorials from our design team at, and then it will have the link right here. So you'll need to just type whatever it is right here into your browser, and you'll have access to the tutorials from our design team. And of course, you know that our design team, our club design team posts every post on the 15th and then on every Tuesday of the month. So you can just go to our blog, there is a link right here to find more inspiration. And I hope all of you are the uh, members of our fan group on the, on the club. So there is a link here too, if you are not yet. So let's, let's take a closer look. So we have our Marcy and as you know, our stems in the club are rubber stems and they are deeply edged, high quality rubber, and they are ready on the cling mount. So all you need to do is the, to peel the paper right here, put it on your acrylic block and stamp. The stamp comes with the sentiment. So let's take a look at Marcy first. Let's admire her. How cute is she? She is holding a, a plant. She is uh, wearing, you can color her of course different ways and you'll see our design team is going to start showing today. You'll see many different ways to color Marcy. I have my Marcy wearing jeans. Then she has this um, cute apron like on top and wearing a headscarf. Um, and the sentiments that we have with this Marcy are plant mama, you grow girl, and happiness blooms from within. So you can see many sentiments you can mix and match to use with this Marcy. And let's take a look at the second stamp. And these are the mice. They also have, well, they coordinate with this Marcy. So we have little one holding a plant, then this one holding a hanging plant. Isn't it cute? <laughs> He's so adorable. And then this one is holding the water can over his head. And um, you can use them together, even like this, like he is watering the plant that the other little mouse holding. Isn't it cute? So, so adorable. And I'll show you more as we go, um, how they look like with the, with the dice as well. But isn't this just adorable? Just so, so cute. And the sentiment that comes with this, with this mice, 
are really cute too. So let me just turn them around so you can see. So you can use with any of these mice and of course you can mix and match with Marcy as well. So we have, it's not hoarding if it's plants. We have Smarty Plants, and actually this stem set, we called it Smarty Plants, because <laughs> I think it's cute. With, the, with Marcy, the sentiments are more, um, like, nicer, I, I, I don't know, not, not nicer, I can't find the word right now. But we try to do, like, with the, with the cute mice, we try to do punny sentiments. So then we have, don't stop believing. I'm always rooting for you because of the roots of the plants. And then we have, sometimes I wet my plants. So just, just fun sentiments for your friends to put smile on their faces, right? And you can mix and match with the sentiments. Of course, you can go, you grow girl, even with the mice, right? That would be cute. Happiness blooms from within is the nice sentiment to use with anything. Okay, so now let's take a look at the dice and you can see the pretty big dice. This month, um, I didn't mention if you are not yet a club subscriber and you would like to start your subscription with this kit if you fell in love with this, you can subscribe by March 31st and your subscription will start with this, this March 2021 kit. You just need to go to lalalandcrafts.com I put the link in the video description, but it might be easier just to go to lalalandcrafts.com and click on Club Lalaland Crafts. All information is there and you can subscribe. As I said, there are three plants, stamps only, dice only, the product kit, which includes all of the stamps and dice. So for the dice, the first one I, we have here is called Plant Shelf. And I just wanted to measure for you so you can see how big it is. It measures three and a half inches tall and it comes with the shelf itself. So the shelf is like this. And then we didn't want to waste any space, so we wanted to give you a little more of the dies to go with it. So it has the planter. I die cut like bunch right here so I can show you different ways to do it. Let me find the planter that goes is this so it has this tall planter and then it has the plant like this so this is all one die and we added a little bit of the bottom to the plant so you can when you're gluing it you can just put adhesive on the bottom there and then tuck it behind so the plant is in the planter like that, is it cute? And then for the second die, as you can see, it has a lot of parts here. They are connected by the wires. You can cut them apart and store them like on the magnet. Um, I have some other die on the magnet here, but you can put them on the magnet once you cut them apart with the wire cutters. And then you can cut whatever parts you need from here, or you can leave it all together. I'm going to leave mine all together. Then I can just die cut like, you know, I did here from different colors and then you can mix and match. And that's kind of actually, actually kind of nice to have them in different colors because then you, when you're playing, you can just pull it and have them um, ready to go. So on this die here, and let me again, let me measure it for you. If it's all there all together, so it measures like two and three quarters right here across. And it has one, two, three, four planters. It has a little watering can and it has the plants. So it has one, two, three, four plants to go with it. And again, you can mix and match and you can create, you can do it different ways. So let me show you really quick how to assemble some of these dies. So we have this hanging planter and then this die right here is kind of like, you can see that they're kind of like hanging plants and this little part, this little notch there, that's where you would put adhesive, 
I mean, this is, this is the way we designed it. Of course, there'll be more ways you'll see how our design team used these dies. And what I do in the larger space, or you can do in the smaller space, you put the, the leaves in front of the die, and then you tuck that part under. So it looks like the plants are actually coming out of the planter. Isn't that cute? So, so cute. And of course you can separate and have them more, add more leaves um, hanging there. So that's just one way to use it. And if you want to put it onto the shelf, then you just hang it right here on the little hook. Is it cute? So you can create like a um, whole assembly here. So then what else we have here? We have planter like this, and it has the detail. So once you cut out, it has the, let me put it on the white instead of my hands. <laughs> you can see better. So it has the stitching there. Then let me show you the other, other parts. So there, this is the, this is the little, um, watering can. Then we have, I'm just going to drop them. <laughs> just going to drop them so I can get them better. So we have the cactus. Let me see if I can find one in green for my cactus. Here it is. So you have the cactus. We have more planters. So we have a planter like this. Then there is a, um, somebody remind me what you call this flower, please. Uh, the, the one that Marcy is holding also, I can't remember what it's called. There is a smaller planter or pot, flower pot. Cute. So you can, of course, you can just cut them from different colors. You can color from white and orchids. Yes, thank you so much, Marsha. Thank you, Katya. So, yes, so orchid. Um, and that could be probably better. You can paper piece it, right? So I can cut off the leaves. Well, leave the leaves on, but cut off the flowers and piece them on top of the of the plant, of the orchid plant. So that gives me some color variation there. And of course you can add more color. Let me just drop them on so I'm, I can, <laughs> I can hold so many pieces in my hands. So here we go. And then you can add a little bit of the darker color, just kind of, make it look more like a plant, right? And this orchid goes nicely in this pot right here. So let me see if I have one in white. So you can put the orchid on the shelf. Look, you can have your mice around. This little one is really cute standing on the shelf. And so he, like he is watering the plants here. Karina is saying that, that, that you have a friend that has the, uh, so many plants during COVID. Yeah, that would be a really cool card for her, I bet. So look at this. Look, it just kind of like all comes together. And of course, as you know, that's how we design our kids, right? So everything kind of works, not kind of, everything works together. So then we have our cactus and the cactus um, goes nicely in the long pot flower pot to this one right here, if I can grab it. So it goes nicely in this spot and you can put, you can put it on one of the shells. You can put the smaller pots, these guys here, you can put two of them 
on this shelf here so two of them fit and this little squiggly squiggly plant this little guy right here the squiggly the squiggly part you can put this behind the planter so it's like it's coming out or you can put it on top of the planter like this right so that gives you more options and of course you can have it standing up you can have a few of them different ways so that's almost looks like another succulent am i off the screen so if you have like a couple coming out like this well in green color that will make another look so you can mix and match all of this it's just so so pretty and so many different options so this goes can go there different plants then the little water can fits on the bottom shelf here so this is this is kind of like we design everything to lay out but of course you can mix and match and you can you don't have to use the shelf you can just use the plants you can use other things to put the plants on like we, you might have shelves from our other design um, from our other previous club kits so definitely you can mix and match the the water can you can you can even put plants into the water can right because sometimes it's just cute to grow things in the water can so you can mix and match you can add more of this other plant right so it's just it just i think this is really really oh yes katie is saying that the squiggly one can be used as a moss for the for the orchid yes it can that's really pretty see i'm, I'm telling you there's so many different ways you can mix and match this these dies to work for whatever project you're working on and you know and of course it can be used on your on your cards it can be used on your scrapbook pages right on your planners so they're like this kit turned out just so so adorable i just love it look at this just little effort and you can you can create from one kit you can create so many different projects just using this look how adorable just so so adorable and of course if you want to do the slim line cards or like we used to call them long cards um like i was showing you you can just use different elements and they just all work together and you add the sentiment Isn't it cute? They're just so adorable together. So I know you all will have so much fun playing with this kit. And our design team is going to start showing you their projects today at two o'clock. So not long from now. And I'm telling you, this is, you know, this is just kind of a little sampling that I'm showing you right now. But there are so many different ideas from our design team a um, couple of things that I wanted to show you so this is the circle from our double stitched circles die that you might have it already and I just wanted to show you that the shelf fits nicely inside of this circle so if you just want to highlight it before you put it on your card if you want to give another dimension another layer it fits really nicely on this or this is the smaller circle from the same set. You can put a circle behind it just for the kind of like a highlight when you put the plants on. So that's just for dimension, for layering. Um, if you wanted to see how I make flowers on Marcy's um, apron right here, I have some tutorials on YouTube how to do it. And it's really, really, really easy. So I can show it to you quickly here as well. So first what I did on this Marcy, I used the gray markers and I'm, I don't, um, I'm not gonna do it right now, just show, we'll show you the flowers, but I used the gray markers as you can see to, um, to aid the shadows or sh the, for the shading there. 
and then I just grab my markers and I'm using RB52 for the main flowers and I'm just doing like really abstract flowers just just the shapes and I'm just adding them as I go and some are going to be like if there's more space you can do the full flower and some you can do just little showing from the folds so just really seriously just like squiggly like this squiggly shapes and it's so much fun to do because it is so so easy and then once you do that you would grab the darker marker i'm using rv66 and just add dots in the centers and see this already makes them look like flowers doesn't it easy right um nancy is asking what paper i use for stamping nancy my preferred paper for coloring the scopics is called x press it so it's spelled x dash press p-r-e-s-s -S, and then it express it and then you can add the leaves and for the leaves, leaves again just little squiggly things here and there by each flower and i love adding elements like this to my to my stamped images because we all wear a lot of clothes with the um with the prints so it's it's nice to kind of break it up instead of just solid shapes this was yg23 and then i'm adding yg67 as the darker color and just a tiny bit of that just kind of dotting inside of those leaves for a little more contrast and then what I like doing, it looks really pretty like this, but you can see the difference, right? Between these flowers here. So then what I do, I grab my white gel pen. And again, you don't have to, you don't even have to line it up with the flower that you painted with your Copics. Just kind of give it another outline. You can see I'm just going pretty quick and it's, it's kind of not random, but as I said, I'm not even following the shape mostly, just creating another, um, I wish I would have, let me see if I have a pen to kind of show you what I'm doing. So this is the darker pen, but that's what I do with the, with the, um, with the white gel pen. I don't even follow the flower. I just go over and draw another flower on top of it. So, and this gives kind of more even more dimension i think and this is so much fun and you know the coloring should be fun right it should not be complicated or difficult of course practice we always need to practice but it is it is very easy to do um now for marcy as you can see she's wearing a headband but you'll see on some of the samples from our design team and i did already color on top of this Marcy so I won't be able let me cut another one I stamped another one here really quick let me um, just cut it from the paper I wanted to show you so you can color it like this with full headband but you can also color color the this part here right her uh, bangs but you can color from the from the part where this part is you can go both ways and I'm not gonna do like full coloring right now I'm just gonna add the color so you can see how that will look so she can just wear the headscarf folded like so that would be really cute too so I'm telling you there will be so many different ideas and options that you'll see from our design team and um what else i want to tell you i think the papers the this this is my favorite paper pack of ours right now at the moment the uh, sparkle and shine and i think the papers here would actually work really nicely with the planter and with the marcy because with the marcy with the marcy stamp because <laughs> they're just so uh in i guess with the with the patterns like this and it's just so so pretty um 
a lot of our papers, in fact, I mean, like most of our papers would work with this, with this, um, with this kit. I thought I brought another pack. Oh, this one right here, Endless Summer. I, I was thinking that these colors would be really, really pretty with the plants. So this one is called Endless Summer. And look at this. They have kind of like plants designs on them, the leaf, leaf things. So I think this paper pack would be really cute with this set. And of course you can't go wrong with the, with the dots or the um, like polka dots. And on this side, this is how it looks like. So a lot of green and pink, really fresh colors. So this would be cute too. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, the stencils, of course, and we have, uh, if, you're, if you're familiar with our brand, you know how many stencils we have in our range. And of course, you can mix and match. This, the, the uh, bricks one from on the wall set would be really cool with this, with this images and the dice. You can even like just do a little bit on the circle if you prefer because kind of like urban right <laughs> behind the behind behind mars or behind the shelf so just a little bit of the color just something for the background right and look how cute just so so pretty and bricks are always always in right because you can't go wrong with bricks so that was on the wall then we have some flowery one and i was thinking that this one right here the daisies on my mind would be really pretty even though we don't have daisies in this set but they're flowers and of course this design is always good it's uh, it goes with everything but daisies are so so pretty Stephanie is asking if I showed how to use in the big shot yet. I have not. Um, I just got actually the last machine <laughs> I wanted to show you in um, a week ago. So I need to set up and kind of do the whole um, whole thing with all of the different machines that I have to show you how to use with with the stencils and and not just the stencils and the dice. Uh, actually, I'm learning so much and. I actually have a new favorite machine, so that would be nice, I think, for everybody to see. So let's just quickly see how this, how daisies look like. I love this, this, the daisies on my mind is one of my favorite sets, and I've had it embossed before, and that's what I'm, I'm going to show you when, um, when I do the different machines tutorial. But look at this, isn't this adorable? And how springy, how springy is this? So just so, so pretty. And you can just say, you grow girl, right? Wouldn't that make an adorable card? Just like this. So quick and simple and, and easy and fast and amazing. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to show you. And of course you can stencil the centers, different colors and do what you need to do uh what else when i was i going to show you i think i think that was it besides the you know you can of course color color the die cuts in different colors with your markers you can use inks you can use ink to ink them So you can just, you know, add textures. Little flower can be different color. So there's so many different ways to do this. You know, you can make like really, really simple cards too, right? Like if you would put um, just like a square, layered square behind it and use a sentiment. If you need really quick card, would that be cute? Look, just really, you know, you know when you 
When you go and look at the cards that are for sale, the, um, the, some cards are just like this, just so simple, right? And why can't we <laughs> make simple cards? I keep, I know I have a hard time with that. I keep on adding more, but look how cute it is. So if you need like a quick note, uh, note card for somebody or just to say um, thank you or, you know, just a uh, quick and encouragement card, look. I'm always rooting for you. Would that be cute? And you can even stem the sentiment directly on the card. And just, as I said, just layer a couple of squares there. Our stitched squares are perfect for that because it will add another detail. And this is just adorable, right? Just, just so, so cute. Okay, so um, I know you all will have so much fun with this kit because this, this gives you so many different options. And... The good news is that we are going to start shipping this week. Today is Monday, so um, the dies are on their way from our manufacturer to us already. So we should be able to start shipping. You know, fingers crossed. The mail, <laughs> the mail is uh, is on our side, or the 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 force. May the force mail force be with us, and we'll start shipping this week. And you'll get this kit. And you know, on time for all of your, all of your um, spring projects. So many different ideas. We can't wait to see what you do. So, so when you, um, when you get the kit, and you know you are you are if you are on our Facebook group, if you are not yet, please join. Um, it just go to right here. That's quick link bit.ly backslash club fan group if you type this into the browser it will take you directly to the group or you can search when you're on facebook search for club la la land crafts um what else was i saying yeah so in remember if you are not yet subscribing then you just go to la la land and click click on Club Lala Land Crafts, and if you subscribe by March 31st, by the end of the month, you'll start with this kit. Um, yeah, and Kimberly said less, less hair to color. Exactly. I was just thinking that too, Kimberly, when I was coloring this, Marcy, that if you are, you know, if you're just now starting to color and um, if you're just now pr just practicing and I know hair can be one of the hardest things. So this just a little bit of the hair there, if you color it this way, and also not much skin. There's a, there's a face <laughs> and one arm, a little bit of the hand and a little bit right there. So this kit is very um, friendly for those of you who are just now starting to color and of course with mice you can color them so easy you just if you want them to look white you just add a little bit of the gray for for shading and that will be it and you will see you will see from our design team there as i said so many different ideas and our design team they never cease to amaze me. The, you know, we put the products out there, we give them the products to work with, and they come up with so many different ideas. When we design our products, the club kits or just the regular release, we have an ideas on how to use them. But then when we see, that's my, one of my favorite parts, when, when I see what our design team does with these products, that's, that's amazing. That is truly amazing. So um, I think I'm going to be done for, for now. Um, I hope you love this kit. Again, this is the March 2021 Club uh, La La Land Crafts kit. I'll see you later. Be, please be on the lookout from the projects from our design team for your ideas, for your inspiration. Stay safe, stay healthy. Love you all. Bye for now.